In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a super easy cinematic title animation in Premiere Pro, just like this. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White, and if you wanna learn how to edit video like a pro, start out with subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Here inside Premiere Pro, the first thing I'm gonna do is right click over here in the project table, go down to new item, and then create a new sequence. All I'm gonna do is select 1080p, 24 FPS, that's all that I need, but you can select whichever one works for you, and then just press okay. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go down here to where the type tool is, or just press T on the keyboard, and I'm going to type anywhere within the frame what I want my title to say. Then I'm just gonna go over here and select the selection tool again and go up to the graphics tab. From here, I'm gonna go over to edit under essential graphics and I'm going to select my title. And here's where I'm gonna make a bunch of different changes to the text in my title sequence. So first thing I like to do is go down here and select a good bold font. So I'm gonna be using Gotham and I'm just gonna go down here over to the tracking and I'm gonna kind of spread these letters apart to kind of make it spread across the entire frame. And I can also adjust the size of my text if I want. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and just center this up on the frame. From here, I wanna just select the type tool again, and then I'm gonna click anywhere within the frame and I'm going to create the subtitle as well. For the subtitle, I wanna make sure that it's thin and a lot smaller. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight all of the text, and then I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to select a thin Gotham font. Then I'm just going to change this down to about 80 to bring the size down. And the last thing I wanna do is go ahead and center this up and then bring this down just below my title. The next thing I'm gonna do is select the selection tool and then I'm gonna go back up here to the editing tab. From here, now it's time to animate my title sequence. So I'm gonna make the timeline a little bit bigger and then I'm going to stretch this to whatever length I want the title sequence to be. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna keep it at about three seconds, but you can make it as long or short as you need to. So the first thing we're gonna animate is the title fading in as well as fading out. So the first thing I wanna do is select the clip and then go up here under effects controls and go down to opacity. I wanna take this playhead to the very beginning of my title sequence and I'm going to click the stopwatch to create a keyframe. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go forward 15 frames and I'm going to go over here to this little button for add remove keyframe and create a second keyframe. The next thing I'm gonna do is click this go to previous keyframe button. This little arrow is gonna take me back to the very first keyframe that I created, which is actually at the very beginning of my title sequence. Then I'm going to change this down to zero. And from here, you will see that once you play it back, that your title fades in. The next thing I'm gonna do is take my playhead and take it all the way down to the very end of my title sequence. From here, I'm going to create another keyframe under opacity, and then I wanna go back 15 frames, and I'm going to create an additional keyframe, there being a total of four keyframes. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this button, go to next keyframe, and that'll take me to the very end of my title sequence, which holds that very last keyframe. So from here, I'm just going to change this down to zero. So when I play it back, my title fades in, and at the very end, my title fades out. The next thing I'm gonna do is go over here to these double arrows and go down to effects, and I'm gonna type in Gaussian Blur, and I'm gonna click and drag Gaussian Blur onto my clip. I wanna ensure that the Gaussian Blur is above my text and not below it, because if it's below, the effect will not apply to the title sequence. So from here, I'm gonna be using my opacity keyframes as a reference for how I animate this blur effect fading in as well as fading out. So first thing I'm gonna do is take my playhead and bring it to the very beginning of my title sequence. And then I'm going to click on the stopwatch for blurriness and I'm gonna go forward 15 frames and that should be online with my opacity keyframe. From here, I'm just going to create a keyframe and I'm gonna go back using that go to previous keyframe button and change this blurriness to 115. Then I'm gonna to go to the very end of my title sequence and I'm going to create another keyframe. From here, I'm gonna go backwards 15 frames and that should put me in line with that third keyframe down here under opacity. So then I'm just gonna create another keyframe and then I'm gonna select go to next keyframe and that'll bring me to the very end of my title sequence so that very last keyframe under Gaussian Blur and I'm gonna change this to 115. So the last thing that I'm gonna do is give it that nice looking slow scaling in or zooming in effect. So in order to do that, I'm gonna take the playhead, bring it to the very beginning of my timeline or my title sequence. I'm going to select the stopwatch under scale and that's going to create a keyframe. I want to change this to 85 and then I'm gonna to go to the very end of the title sequence and I'm going to change this to 100 and that will have created two keyframes 
Now you can see it's slowly zooming in. If you don't want to have to worry about going through these steps every single time, check out the link that I provided down in the description. You can download the project file and it'll save you a ton of time. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.